Hello and welcome to District Prayers. If you're watching us live, that's great. If you're catching up later, that's also great. My name is Chris Briggs. I'm the District Mission Enabler. And I want to say once again, Happy Easter, because we are in Easter season, of course. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for this Easter time. We thank you for good news. We thank you for the good news of Jesus risen. We thank you that we can meet with Jesus today. We thank you that we can meet with Jesus now as we hear and watch this as well. And we pray that he would be very present with us. And we pray in his name. Amen. Let me share with you a familiar Easter reading. This is from John chapter 20, um, reading from verse 24. John chapter 20, reading from verse 24. Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we've seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you've seen me, you've believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet who believe. May God bless the reading of his word to our understanding. Just a few thoughts on that reading. First of all, as we um, heard, Thomas wasn't there the week before when Jesus had appeared to the disciples. He must have felt he really missed out if he believed what was going on at all. Sometimes we feel we've missed out and maybe we have. Maybe, though, our time wasn't right. Maybe God has something else for us. So if you feel you've missed out, maybe God has something special coming for you. Then secondly, Thomas wanted proof of the incredible. Well, that's understandable, isn't it? In the end, though, the proof seems to have been in the encounter with Jesus, not the specifics of his wounds. Sometimes it's the relationship we need to look for, not proof. Are you in need of looking for that relationship with Jesus, a closer relationship with Jesus, cutting through the I want this proved and I want that proved. And thirdly, Thomas says, my Lord and my God. Thomas recognises Jesus for who he is. Maybe he even fell at his feet. Jesus says, of course, that these disciples have an advantage because they have seen and that helps them believe. But generally, faith doesn't work that way round. Generally, the way it works, and Jesus acknowledges this in the way that he says people are blessed. Generally, the way it works is believe and you shall see, not see and you shall believe. So those of us who have to believe and then see, we're almost especially blessed. But I wonder where we need to do that today. Where do we need to believe in order that we might see? Well, as we reflect on those thoughts and that reading, we're going to listen to a song, King of Kings, Majesty, because this reminds us of who Jesus really is, just as Thomas recognised who Jesus really is. <laughs> to 
eternal, faithful and true, who bought the nations, ransomed souls, brought this sinner near to your throne. All within me cries out in King of Kings, Majesty, a marvellous song. I wonder where we might need to fall down before Jesus to worship him. Which area of our lives needs that at this moment? Let's pray. Thank you that as we're confronted with Jesus, we recognise that he is our Lord and our God. We also recognise our imperfections and where we need to grow where we need to become more like Jesus as we follow him. So I pray today for anyone who's struggling with recognising who Jesus is. Pray, Lord, that in this Easter season, they might have a real glimpse of Jesus being you with us. I pray this in his name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for these prayers. Remember, you can join us on Mondays and Thursdays when uh, we're online each time and catch up during the week. It's been a real pleasure to share with you. And again, I wish you a happy Easter. The blessing. And may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this Easter season and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>